Hey everyone! So with every trip, you need to know what type of clothing you're going to be bringing with you, especially when you're backpacking, because you're going to be carrying all your stuff on your back. So where are you going? Is it hot, cold, rainy, a little bit of everything? Well, I'll tell you what to pack after this. I'm Marani Megs and it's great to see you. The first thing you want to find out is what the weather is like in that particular location you're going to be traveling to. If you're going to be traveling to multiple places, you have to account for what the weather is like there too. What season are they in? Are, is the season going to change as you're traveling through that particular country? That's something to definitely figure out. For me, I was traveling through Southeast Asia during the months of March to June and some of the countries were hot and humid. Oh my goodness. While I was traveling in Thailand in the month of March, they were officially changing the cloak of the Emerald Buddha to signal this change in season. So I packed the following items and I'm so glad I did. Okay, quick dry t-shirts, okay, similar to Under Armour or a, a soccer jersey, because those work too. They made my life so much easier. Uh, especially when I was traveling around because I sweat a lot and I really didn't want to show everyone my lovely sweat stains. The quick dry t-shirts also made drying clean clothes a lot faster, especially if you're going to another town or city the next day. You don't want to spend your precious time waiting for clothes to dry, so definitely consider packing the quick dry t-shirts. Khaki shorts or capri shorts, they are fantastic. They are light, durable, and they breathe. In addition to that, they also dry very quickly, so that's something to consider. Now, if you're considering, and I stress that you don't, to bring jeans, I recommend you don't because they get hot and sweaty, especially in humid countries, and they are super heavy in a backpack, so just don't pack them. Proper footwear, and I can't stress this enough. You have to be mindful and choose wisely as to what type of footwear you bring with you and be aware of potential weather conditions at the locations you're gonna be traveling to. I wish I had bought covered sandals that were like a shoe or like a mixture of the two. It would have made my life so much easier because what I did is I brought sandals and running shoes and I've only used these running shoes once during my trip and didn't wear them again. And I had to drag them with me throughout my whole entire backpacking trip because these shoes were expensive and new and I wasn't gonna toss them aside. If you plan to buy your shoes overseas, be cautious. The, they might not have your brand style or size of shoe. Um, for example, when I was living in South Korea, I needed my winter boots, which I didn't pack with me at the time. And so I thought, oh, I'll just go shopping and get some winter boots. When I went shopping, they did not have my size at all, not even in men's, okay? So I had to settle for overpriced Ugg boots that actually fit me and kept me warm. So be cautious and be aware. Fast drying zipper jacket or light sweater, um, even though you're gonna be traveling or maybe traveling to a hot climates, it's always great to have at least a light sweater or a zipper jacket. Um, because you don't know if the weather might change and it might be colder even though it's potentially never been cold there. You just want to be prepared. And also, if you choose a sweater or a zipper jacket, make sure it is fast drying and water resistant. And the final item is underwear. Yep, you heard me right, underwear. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but ladies, I can attest to this. I highly recommend that you purchase underwear that is fast drying but also allows you to breathe so you don't have any problems down there. You know what I mean, okay? Well, that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful and let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and remember to try something new. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.